Hello everybody, and welcome to the fourth lesson of Unit 17, Background Music. In this lesson, we'll be going over how to use background music effectively to better add to your video. Music can be very, very useful when making a video because it can help set the tone or atmosphere of a scene. So, without further ado, let's jump right in. First off, I'd like to discuss background music and its purposes. I'm sure you all know about background music, and even if you don't, you have most definitely come across it while watching any kind of content, whether it be YouTube videos, TV shows, or feature films. Music and sounds are everywhere when it comes to motion pictures. Even in silent films, where actors have zero dialogue, there is still music present. In our case, we'll be referring to music in the general sense, meaning we'll also be including soundtracks and scores as well, not just regular songs. The purpose of background music, or a score, is to set the tone and atmosphere of the scene or the video. Music in videos is often what gives the audience that initial first impression. For example, for our marketing promo video, we used a simple, mellow background sound that looped continuously to keep the tone consistent and light. It was picked because this video is a lighthearted introduction to the marketing lab and isn't too serious. But it also isn't comedic or funny to the point that audiences might take it as a joke. This brings us to an important thing to note when dealing with songs or music during a video. The kind of feeling that you want to convey is mostly through the music that you choose. If you are making a sad video about a student who is failing a class, you wouldn't use a happy and upbeat song, and vice versa. If you are making a video about a student who is graduating and happy, you wouldn't use a sad piano track. Your music should match the tone or emotions of your video for it to all work together. Your visuals help the audience see what's happening. And your music helps amplify or clarify the emotion of your visuals. Now that we know what background music does for a video and know what to pick when choosing a track, let's move on to actually editing it. This part may not be useful for all music, but it is worth knowing. If you happen to have a song or music track in mind that either ends too quickly or if you want a certain section of it to loop throughout a scene, you can consider mixing your music. Mixing music isn't too complicated, actually. It's all about knowing how you want your video to turn out. For example, if you have a clip that is too short and want it to loop seamlessly in one long track, you can first duplicate the music clip you want. There are plenty of methods to do this. You can either drag and drop the same clip down from your project media tab in your explorer window, or you can simply use the keyboard shortcuts mentioned in the previous unit. Copy and paste. This will paste your exact audio clip back onto your timeline, just the way that you had it. You can then zoom in on the timeline Find the section right before it ends, as well as where it begins, and split it there. Then, all you have to do is to delete the ending of the song that you don't want, drag your copy of your original music clip back towards where the ending of it first began, and have it snap into action. Usually, royalty-free music will have little intros and outros to their clips, so Little adjustments here and there can work to make things smoother. As a demonstration here, I'm going to be using the sound from our marketing promo video called Perception by Ben Sound. Here's a 10 second sample.
Now, since there are different sections to this song, such as the intro, bridge, chorus, and outro, we're going to take one section of it and have it loop. This takes a little more time, so feel free to play around with it as much as you need to get the hang of it. However, once you learn how to do this, it's almost like you can control people's emotions and subconsciously tell them how to feel while they watch your video. This is the most basic function of music or soundtracks in movies. Next, we're going to talk about the volume envelope again. Like mentioned above, enabling this envelope will create a separate blue line in the middle of your audio clip. Again, moving the line up means louder and down means quieter. So, like animating your audio before, you can do the exact same with your volume envelope here as well. Create keyframes on the locations you want by double-clicking and move that keyframe to the volume you desire. Once you have two keyframes that are anchored to different volume levels, as you can see, when you drag your second keyframe around, it will create a gradual slope so the volume moves gradually, fading in or out. This is usually used when there is a long clip of dialogue that is being said, or for when you need to switch to a montage or b-roll. You should typically animate your background music to slowly fade out or quieter while there is important dialogue or narration. Next, now that we know how to use our background music in our videos, how to adjust volumes using animations, and what your music track can do for your video, there's one more crucial thing to mention. Every song you hear on the radio and most songs online are copyrighted, which means that the company or artist that produced the music, and only them, owns all the rights to their songs. This means you cannot use the song unless you buy the rights to use it at the company's given price. We will talk more about video and audio copyright in the next unit, but for now, make sure to only use content you are allowed to. And that concludes our sound unit. Next up, we'll talk about the last steps in editing, which is finishing up your video, double checking for mistakes, and finally sharing your edit into a final video. I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye!